Hi, welcome to Thriving Projects and you are watching how can I model this shape. In today's video, we are going to make 3D model of this shape. You can use any 3D modeling software. The software that I am using is Blender. So let's move to the Blender. Add a cube. Press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision with the level of 3. Apply this one. Add another cube this time and scale this down something like this select this cube then this sphere press ctrl minus and change difference to intersect and scale down the cube something like that apply the boolean modifier hide this cube uh, go to the edit mode Press M and merge by distance. So 48 vertices are merged. Select these faces and press Ctrl I. Then select these, this face, this face. Press E, right click. Press Alt S and scale this along X axis. I will delete these faces, press E and move this along Z axis. Press Ctrl R, add an edge loop here, select this one, press I. Select this loop, click circle and select this one. You can click circle. Okay, so we have to add an edge loop here and here. Select this face, press shift S, cursor to select it. Press Ctrl A, add a slinter with a size of 8. Scale this down, scale this along Z axis, S, Z, and scale. Press Shift Z to scale along X and Y axis. I will delete the upper and lower face. I will also delete the half of the circle. Select this edge and this edge. Press E, right click, press S, X, and scale this along X axis. I will press Ctrl R to add an edge loop here. Delete the lower portion because I will apply a mirror modifier along the axis and turn on the clipping. I will move this point down a little bit, then this one also a little bit, something like this. And select these edges, press F, then press K and add a cut here. Now I will add an Array modifier. I would like to have something like maybe 10 copies. Select these edges, press Shift S a little bit. We have 10 sides. We would like to make this uh, in a circular position. I will add an empty plane axis. I will set the origin to 3D cursor. Press Ctrl dot and move along the Z axis. Go to array modifier, turn off the relative offset, turn on the object offset, select this edge. Press Ctrl A, rotation and scale. And we would like to rotate this along Z axis, 360 divided by 10, 36. Press Shift S, cursor to select it. Select this empty uh, plane exit. Press Shift S, selection to cursor. Okay, now select the merge option. We would like to add uh, 20. Now select this edge, press E and move along y axis then sx to decrease 
move this along y axis a little bit select this edge also move along y axis a little bit i will add support loops press ctrl r and add support here apply subdivision surface okay we got our shape i will select this edge loop press shift d then press p to separate by selection select this edge loop then we separate it we are not going to apply mirror modifier but we are going to apply array modifier no subdivision press circle press e move along z axis press again e now press s press e s then control f grid fill similarly here we will add control loop press es then control f grid fill Get control loop here press control 3 to apply the subdivision surface press e move this along x axis press s and again press e move along x axis and again press s then press e select this side this one this one and then press ctrl b the number of segments should be two select this one press e s e s again press e one more time press e s control f grid fill like this one press ctrl b similar uh, portion on this side for this simply add a mirror modifier before the subdivision and here we go we model this shape I hope you like this video and if you like to support us, you can support us on our Patreon page where you can get our all project files and many of the benefits. So thank you and keep doing 3D modeling.